What's up guys, it's Chris, you're watching Plumbing Explained, and this is Unclogged. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how I got this little quarter inch flex shaft completely stuck in this branch line. And how I retrieved it, and how I unclogged another branch line just a few feet away with the little tool that I made to retrieve this flex shaft. So what happened here was, I came out to unclog this lav sink, the lav sink... I could tell the clog was past the trap and down in the wall. So I, seeing that they had a clean out out back, I figured I'd just shoot the little flex shaft through the clean out, clean it so that I, or, you know, unclog it so I could get my camera down and then possibly sell a cleaning. I knew this branch was probably going to be kind of short, um, you know, maybe five, 10 feet long at most. So instead of using my K9102, I decided to use this loose quarter inch flex shaft that you guys normally see me unclog tubs and showers with. What I didn't know and what wound up happening was there was an internal main line, meaning the main sewer line inside the house was blocked way before it came out to the main clean out in the front yard. I had no idea about that. So I had wrapped the quarter inch flex shaft up in a bunch of wipes and then I pulled those wipes, the big ball of wipes that is just almost indestructible at this point. I pulled those up into the two inch branch line and it got stuck on a 90. And oh man, the cast iron, there's no way it was budging at all. I poured Dawn soap down. I did all kinds, everything I could think of. I shot my 100 down trying to break it loose. Um, I did a lot to try and get it loose and nothing would do it. So I went and I bought this little Ryobi, uh, 1900 PSI, 1 1.2 gallons per minute electric power washer, or pressure washer, sorry, and I converted it into a makeshift jetter. I took my 3 8 reel off of my big jetter, and uh, or my cart jetter, and I mounted it on this little electric pressure washer, and I converted it into a little jetter. The nozzle I used had three jets going backwards and one um, like spinning jet going forwards and I figured that would be the best to really cut those wipes off of the tip of the flex shaft and thankfully I was right it took all of maybe 10 minutes for this pressure washer that I converted into a little jetter to cut the wipes off the tip of that flex shaft I mean it was really really cool I was super stoked I didn't have to break the stucco and possibly even jackhammer to cut the drain out and retrieve the cable for the customer um, this really saved my butt. It only cost me 150 bucks for the pressure washer. And I think you can get a pressure washer to jetter conversion kit for like around a hundred bucks on Amazon. I forget how much I paid for one back in the day. That's that's what I have here right now actually is a jetter, convert, a jetter, jetter conversion kit off of Amazon. This isn't like a real great jetter hose, but it'll get you by it. It'll def definitely get you out of a bind. As you can see, I unclogged this line with the black sludge of doom and uh, what's really cool is after you unclog the line, if you make a mess like this, you can hook the pressure washer back up, the uh, sprayer, and spray all the concrete down. It'll look like you were never there. That's what I did here at this job after I was done. And I'm actually gonna keep this little rabbi pressure washer and uh, I'm gonna put a little quarter inch hose on it with a maybe a carry around reel and just be able to hook it up to the pressure washer. It's actually really quiet. Um, and it works really well. I, I feel like, I mean, I don't think I could really properly clean a line with this pressure washer um, converted into a jetter. But this coupled with the flex shaft, coupled with my cable machines and everything else I have, I can for sure clean a line. And uh, using this to even just poke a hole in the black sludge of doom or some grease or, you know, whatever else is real difficult for the flex shaft sometimes to poke a hole through. Even if I could just poke a hole through that and get it draining, then I can send the flex shaft down and really clean it up and possibly send this down after the flex shaft to wash everything out. I mean, I feel like all that, that combination there is really solid. And you know this drain is unclogged because I still have water running through the line even though I don't have the uh, pressure washer turned on. Water's running down in the line. Uh, I did not turn the hose off yet. So... If you wanted, you could convert this into a little jetter for you, like I'm going to do, uh, like I've done here. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to modify this setup a little bit, but you could convert this pressure washer into basically a little mini jetter, a mini electric jetter. You can use it to unclog lines, 
I mean, any two inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter lines, you can unclog with this setup. Uh, I would recommend a quarter inch hose with a reel instead of the three eighths that I've got here. Um, with like more like a piranha hose or something like that. This is like I said, that Amazon special. But even if you just went with this, you could unclog many, many two inch, inch and a half drain lines. And if that's all you want to do, like you don't want to get into cleaning at all, this thing would be all you would need pretty much, I think. Especially for two inch and inch and a half. You could for sure unclog that. And and I, I would go to say possibly even three inch because it chopped up the wipes. It chopped them up. I was able to get down with the camera and, and look at them. It chopped them up. It didn't wash them out. I had to use a bigger hose to wash them out and everything. But it chopped them up really good so like i said if you wanted to use like this type of setup for just unclogging you could easily do so so with this setup here the 50 foot vivor and you know any electric pressure washer converted into a jetter you're if even if you use the setup that i recommend like a quarter inch piranha hose with a decent nozzle you're still well under a thousand dollars invested in that setup and you can make a ton of money unclogging branch lines, uh, kitchen sink lines. Um, I would recommend staying away from main lines and toilets and stuff like that. But you might be able to unclog them, uh, especially if it's a soft stoppage. Because like I said, I mean, this thing chopped up wipes, chopped them up in just a matter of minutes. Uh, I know for a fact this thing will make it through some grease, some fat. I know it'll make it through the black sludge of doom because I just showed you that it would. And that's with just like a real basic budget nozzle not even a great nozzle and the push rod on the vivor camera is so uh rigid you can honestly if you get the thing draining with the this little pressure washer you could probably push the wipes and toilet paper all the way out to the main you know the suit the, the city main with the uh rigidness of this camera i just did it on this job here actually it worked really well and i know other guys who do the same thing with their cameras even more expensive cameras so uh the fact this camera is inexpensive and whatnot you know you can kind of beat it up a little bit and it actually takes it a little bit better than from what i've heard other cameras and I've actually put this camera through a lot myself and got it back. I almost chopped the head off at one point. It actually, nothing happened to it. It's still fine. Works great. And having this camera has completely changed everything for me as far as drain cleaning and unclogging goes. I know I promised you guys a picture of the recovered flex shaft. So here we go. I wanted to show it to you. There it is. And I'm just so thankful that I was able to get it back for only the $150 investment of this pressure washer and then i guess you know the added a hundred dollar investment of the jetter conversion kit so 250 saved me probably a thousand in plumbing repairs and 250 dollars at least in the flex shaft and flex shaft attachments so now the only thing i'm worried about is i may go blind because my dad told me when i was younger if i beat up my shaft too much i would go blind so that's about it guys make sure you're subscribed to the channel leave a like on the video uh, I'm going to hit this with a pressure washer. You go ahead and get out of here and have a great day.